guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's now 12.27. If you wanna know why I haven't um, slept, well, I have slept, but slept super late, uh, watch last week's vlog. It was a very exciting week. I had a great time. We went to, for those of you who don't know, we went to Sicily for like six days. Had a blast. Got some like incredible, incredible things. Ate some great food. But our flight got delayed. We ended up back in Gatwick at like 12-ish, like 11.30, 12. And then there were like severe train strikes. So we had to take a taxi home. <laughs> and like I said, we are getting up to go and get some food. I think it's gonna be like a makeup free day. So you're gonna have to put up with my face looking like this. Uh, right, I'm gonna wear jeans. Just wear these. These are from m &S. They're a bit cropped on me and they are dirty. So they are going in the wash. I'll wear these instead. These are from Stradivarius. They are UK 14. They are hands down one of the comfiest pairs of trousers I own. And then I'm gonna pair with it my bright orange dress. Shoe wise, I'm gonna go with these. These are some black chunky shoes or boots, I should probably say, which are just from New Look. I love New Look boots. New Look and m and are basically the only two places I ever buy footwear from. This is my coat drill. My leather jacket is still in my suitcase. I need to unpack. So I might just go for this, which is my oversized jacket, which is from Topshop. I bought it from ASOS kind of in a recent vlog. It's got huge pockets. So I can put some bags for life in my pockets and my club card and my shopping list. And then we're good to go. So this is me dressed to go to the supermarket and pick up some food. We made two lists. We've got this list here, which is the stuff that we picked up from online Tesco. And then we've got this list here, which is stuff to pick up from the Tesco down the road for today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. So carrots, mushrooms, creme fraiche, leeks, Greek cheese, potatoes, milk, and something for lunch today. I always feel slightly out of sorts when I come home after a holiday that I've sort of forgotten how to exist. But it was really nice to sleep in my own bed last night. It was so darn comfortable, which is why I didn't even wake up till 11 a.m. And because I'm wearing orange, not that orange is the same color as peach at all, but it's kind of similar. I'm gonna use the Rebel Peach Me fragrance. This smells like peaches. Like, it's kind of weird, but I kind of love it. We're gonna go to the supermarket. So I hope you guys are okay. Hope life is treating you all right. For those of you who ran slash are running at the moment in the London Marathon, I hope it's going okay. I hope it went okay. Uh, they basically ran past our house earlier, which was fun. I missed it, I was asleep. Welcome back and welcome to another weekly vlog. And what's that? Uh, it's me not being in the flat for a week. Hi! It's slightly later, we've been shopping, got everything on our list and nothing else, which is like pretty solid going for us to be honest. We all, wow. We are normally a couple of people who buy unnecessary things when in the supermarket, which was the benefit of online shopping. I find that we tend to stick to our list slightly more on online shopping. I've got a slight announcement from while we were out in Sicily. I know normally in these situations, you'd probably do it together, but I don't think Alex particularly wants to be part of this at all. I quite like it because it's fun to watch it back. I have quite a lot of vlogs on private from like when I was at university or when my first year in London. And it's quite fun actually to look back at it, but appreciate why obviously he doesn't want to. We got engaged while we were in Sicily. Uh, yeah. Those of you who watch the vlogs will know Alex and I have been living together for two and a bit years. Um, the bit that I didn't also vlog is that during lockdown one, I lived with his parents. So like we've been more or less living together now for like three years. So it kind of felt like we were engaged without having that label. So I don't necessarily think it's changed anything drastically. Obviously it's lovely and it now means we can 
plan for a wedding without it being weird. Behind me is a suitcase that needs putting away. So we need to unpack quite a while. I need to, oh, Alex does too, to honest. Unpack from our trip away. I've done my, my wash load. It's outside drying. When that's dry, we need to do Alex's wash load and then good to go. So I'm gonna go put something on the computer, put everything away. Then I'm gonna edit the vlog from Sicily. So if last week's vlog was a little bit late, my sleeping in till half 11 is probably the reason why. So this is today's outfit, a little bit like simpler and kind of low key, mainly because I'm in the office and it's a Monday. So there is going to be basically no one there. So I've got my, my green trousers on, which I believe are from Stradivarius, but I will put something on the, on the screen if it's otherwise. I've got my white top on, which is from Zara. I've changed my necklaces up. These are just from ASOS. I've got a little cardigan on, which is from Hollister, which is cute, mainly because the office is like usually freezing cold. <laughs> and then I've got these little cacti earrings on, which are from Oliver Bonus. And then my usual ring attire. I haven't got shoes on yet. And this is the outfit for today. First day back in the office after like nine, ten days, which I'm kind of quite looking forward to. I need to, uh, one sort out my hair, oh God. I need to fold washing. <laughs> so I thought I would give you a quick catch up while I do, because I feel like we haven't like talked properly in ages with like holiday and I don't even know what I've been up to recently. I've kind of lost track of life. Part of the holiday and part of taking that kind of full week off, it's my first full week other than like the first two weeks of the first lockdown. It's the first full week I've had off since then, other than like when you like semi have Christmas off. So I, I was so freaking burnt out. I honestly can't put it into words. You know when like, your brain just can't fully function thoughts anymore. My job, I love it so unbelievably much, but it's so demanding on your time, your thoughts, your um, mental capacity. You know, I work in live entertainment. I work in digital. Like that, it's forever changing and it kind of never stops. So for those of you who haven't taken annual leave, Take your annual leave. Alex and I also have a week off in November to go to Berlin, which I am very much looking forward to. That paired with a trip around Christmas time at some point to see Alex's parents again in the south of France means that we'll have been abroad five times this year, which was a little bit extreme. We're counting this as our post-COVID, getting it all out of our system, traveling year obviously this amount of traveling is not financially sustainable at the moment it's obviously impossible to buy a house as we all know and so therefore we know that that plan in our life is very much on pause so we've kind of allowed ourselves to eat into the savings a little bit to uh enjoy our year together it's my birthday tomorrow so tomorrow i turn 27 um my brother is in town he's seeing a show tonight and then tomorrow we are spending the day together. So yeah, it's all, it's all a go. It's all a lot. I'm thoroughly enjoying it, feeling very thankful, very lucky, very happy, very um, grateful, if I've not said that already. That's my update. I've now finished folding all the washing up. that's supplied a little bit of explanation as to probably why I've been a little bit naff in terms of everything in the last kind of two months especially but I'm starting to feel really refreshed I bought my cult beauty advent calendar which I'm so freaking excited about hopefully it arrives okay I'll talk to you guys when our Tesco order gets here because we have made the biggest freaking Tesco order ever well, we've got a few things that didn't arrive. Courgettes being one of them, the broccoli being another. I can't remember past that. Sausages. Sausages. But otherwise, this is our food delivery, which we're going to put away in a moment. We've got dishwasher salt granules. 
fun. Peppers, uh, sweet chilli and garlic sauce. Andrex, uh, what are these called? Blue roll. Six free range eggs, some tomato puree, some tomatoes, some more oil, sweet potatoes. Oh, this is spilt. Some baby shampoo, which is now on my hand. There you go. Uh, what is this? Oh, is this the harissa paste? Yep, yeah, harissa paste, uh, barbecue sauce, ketchup, some, cho some chopped tomatoes, of which we have loads of other tins. Uh, tea, goujons, honey monster or wheat puffs or sugar puffs or whatever you want to call them, Chiced ch 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 blah, 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 blah. diced chorizo, extra mature cheddar, so much salmon no one knows what to do with, some cheese and bacon chicken Kievs which we're going to freeze because you can cook them from frozen. In here somewhere, there it is, uh, some kidney beans an aubergine and two things of squash so that's kind of shopping for like a week ish and uh obviously some of these last a bit longer but we're gonna go put these away and uh, continue watching tv happy birthday happy birthday today i am 27 years of age According to my mother, this is like peak life. So it all goes downhill from here, but I've got the best year left. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I honestly feel like year on year life, as much as it's like harder from like many aspects, like paying bills and worrying about a pandemic and stressing about your work. It feels so much easier in myself. I feel so much more comfortable as me and like who I am. And I feel like that's only getting better year on year. Uh, I've had a boiler visit this morning. Um, so all the radiators have been on full blast for like the last half an hour-ish. And it's the first time they've been on since like the really cold spell we had in like, what, January, maybe? They have like, <laughs> we never turn the heating on in this flat ever. It's like. According to the thermostat, which I've now worked out how to turn on, <laughs> didn't even have batteries in it. Uh, it is it's 27 degrees in this flat. So a thrilling start to my birthday morning, having a boiler visit, turning on, <clears throat> turning on loads of taps, working out how to turn on my heating. So my brother is staying in a hotel down the road. So we are when he's finished having breakfast and getting ready. We're going to meet up and go for a little wander around probably Greenwich and then go out for lunch and then I think he's going to go a separate way for a few hours and then when Alex gets back we're going to have dinner. So that is the plan of action for today. I haven't seen my brother in like a month. He's one of my like closest people in my life so and we keep in touch all the time. His girlfriend's just moved in which is really exciting. Uh, he went to see Book of Mormon last night, which I can't wait to hear what he thought about it. And uh, yeah, we're going to go out for lunch. I've been talking for eight minutes, so God knows how I'm going to cut this down. Probably just cut half of it out, let's face it. And uh, <laughs> I will speak to you guys later. Oh my God, Brick! <laughs> I feel like this is like probably the most extravagant birthday present I've ever bought myself. I've got the Cult Beauty 2022 advent calendar, which I'm so excited to get out of this massive box. So when this refocuses, this is this year's Cult Beauty advent calendar, which looks delightful. I've still got last year's one, Quite tempted to dig it out and put it on top. Ah, okay, interesting comparison. I oh, know it's glossy box. Lol, different shop. Door 25 is humongous. If this is anything like last time's box, is that quite a few of these days have more than one product in them. 
um, last year, I think it was the 25th where there was a few, potentially 24th, and I think there was like a mid-month one, like the 17th or something, had two in, but, I mean, just, just that little peak, which gives you basically no information, there are way more than one thing in there. And this year, I don't believe this sold out instantly, because they either made more of them or they're just not as popular, I'm not sure. But it means there's like, you, at least when I'm filming this clip, you can still buy it. I'm so excited. Oh, spoiler. I'm so excited to open this throughout December. Until then, I need to find somewhere to store it where it's like not too in the way. My brother, my brother's girlfriend and I just went bowling. Uh, I won. Just. But I won. My grand bought us a car, but I need to remember where it is. Because I haven't yet opened it. No one actually actually called me, she normally does. In here? Ah. There you go. So, Katie. Alex also got me a pack of marshmallows, which, I mean, I didn't really vlog during lockdown, but if I did, you'd have learnt that I basically ate nothing but marshmallows for two years. Can I move this? Oh, yes. I basically ate nothing but marshmallows for two years. I think it make it shorter. Okay. And then I've got this from my grandmother, which gave me a while ago. got this beautiful oh this chain is really freaking soft um a beautiful kind of light blue pendant it's actually a really nice length uh it's kind of similar to my gold one in terms of length but it's really really beautiful i feel like i have nothing like it it's really nice and then i've also got which i feel like i really don't wear uh, bracelets enough a little tiny delicate bracelet i haven't obviously seen most of my family my brother is paying for dinner which is very nice of him and uh i'm seeing my dad on sunday and i'm seeing my mum and my older brother towards the end of the month so just a few bits on my birthday someone from it was actually more of an engagement present but it kind of doubled up as a birthday present his sister i think it's his sister makes jewelry oh where's the little eyes in the one bag makes jewellery so i've been given which is really sweet if i can put this in here some little earrings these are adorable and then i've got these all this i should probably say which is designed to go on your what they're called sunglasses so you can put them around your neck oh it smells divine this marshmallow is like the same size as half of my face <laughs> Anyway, another 13 minute clip I'm going to have to chop down in some way, shape or form. And I will talk to you guys later. Mm. What a day. It is Friday. The DLR in its entirety stopped working. So I walked home from Canary Wharf, which took about an hour. <clears throat> it's actually a really nice walk. It's got my step count up. Uh, it's probably about five or six thousand steps so you know it's a pretty healthy hearty walk i mean i actually think it's probably more like seven thousand steps but you know Look, this is my outfit of today i stepped back far enough these um trousers are or were from river island and this top was from Shein. they're both really old and then I was wearing these, which are my blue trainers from M&S. So this was the vibe. I was also wearing more M&S <laughs> in the form of my kind of like thin um, blue long coat. And now I'm going to curl up on the sofa, eat my marshmallows for my birthday, drink a Fanta that we have left over from last night, and watch Married at First Sight. Perfect Friday evening. I will chat to you guys later.
Dick. We've got some spinach, some potatoes, some lemons, that's right. Ooh. Um, some of the longest runner beans I have ever seen in my entire life. Some carrots, some oranges, some little tiny Brussels sprouts. Big tomatoes. The biggest tomatoes I've ever seen. Solid. And that was the end of last week's weekly vlog with Wednesday randomly tacked on the end. <laughs> uh last week was a really full-on week i had a promotion at work and so therefore it was like the pre-prep and the post-prep from that kind of just like ate up my week you know it's been a nuts couple of weeks i have got engaged i have turned 27 i have had a promotion which i obviously didn't really mention in this vlog at all and I'm so unbelievably grateful. Uh, it's not from hard work. <laughs> I work very hard. But I obviously appreciate that I have got uh, some unfair advantages over other people. And I am so unbelievably thankful for everything that is in my life. Thanks for watching another weekly vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope everything is okay your end. And I'll see you guys in next week's vlog.